beautiful people inside the scoop and news with shitty news the shittiest news you could ever see <laughs> open world the star wars game in that development at ubisoft this is some crazy scoop am i right could never believe in 10 years that ubisoft was going to make uh, a star wars game i thought uh, electronic arts had uh, like uh, some exclusivity or something like that but i guess i am wrong ubisoft is working on a story driven open world star wars game with lucasfilms games the division developer ubisoft uh, ubisoft <laughs> ubisoft <laughs> ubisoft massive ah. Ubisoft Massive will develop the new game. <laughs> According to Ubisoft CEO Yves Goulmont, it marks the start of a long term collaboration with Disney. That's pretty sick. No other gameplay details have been announced, and Massive is actively recruiting for the project. The game will utilize the Snowdrop engine used, used for the. <laughs> Sorry for my reading skills, but they're not the best, you know? Uh, I'm trying to improve, but it's not working out really well. <laughs> uh, what, what, where I was? Uh, no indication have been given as to whether Massive Star Wars game would be a single or multiplayer. What part of the Star Wars timeline it would be a part of, or when it might be released? I read that like proper shit maybe i should read it again no indication has been given as whether massive star wars game will be a single player or a multiplayer what part of the star wars timeline it will be part of or when it might be released that's better ubisoft ceo Juves Guillemot did give a small tease to wired saying the game will be an original star wars adventure that is different from anything that has been has been done before. Lucasfilm also told The Wire that all Star Wars games will continue to be treated as canon alongside the t film, TV, book and comic release. Earlier this week it was announced that Star Wars games will be brought under a new single brand called Lucasfilm's game. Yesterday Lusa uh, Lucasfilm games also announced Machine Games and Bethesda are working on an Indiana Jones game. That was another sick scoop. Xbox I don't know if, yeah, probably it's gonna be for both console and not just for uh, Xbox. I don't know. That deal now appears to be altered, but EA will continue to be a very strategic and important partner for us now and going forward. According, according, ah, that's a mistake. Oh my god, I don't know how to speak. Oh. According to CEO Vice President of Global Game and Interactive Experience at Disney, Sean Shopatow talking to Wire. Wire report makes clear that the Disney will be the pitches from uh, what? what I'm talking about. Wire's report makes clear that Disney will take pitches from companies on using Star Wars and other Lucas properties. Although VIP of Lucasfilm Games Douglas really made clear that Lucasfilm Games will be a final approval of on all project. So basically Lucasfilm is as the last say the EA deal produced game like Star Wars Battlefront 1, 2 from DICE, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order from Respawn Entertainment and Star Wars Squadron from EA Motive. However, there were also some high profile cancellation, including Amy Eggings project Ragtag, which was in development at the now defunct Visceral Games. The Division games are set in a fictional version of the United States during a ta cataclysmic event that forces members of an elite military unit known as Strategic Homeland Division as they rebuild US cities in the aftermath. Both games featured la what, 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 nothing to do with, I don't know. Massive has also been working on Avatar game for several years, which was re recently delayed in 2022. Oh, what can I say? I'm really excited. Not really. I really don't give a fuck about it. Or maybe, yeah. But I'm the news. I'm shitty news. And I hope this news was really good for you.
I hope you are jumping around and uh, I don't know touching yourself because Star Wars is cool. I don't know if it's good that Ubisoft is taking care of this game, but who knows? We're gonna see soon, or maybe never. Who knows? See you later. <laughs>